your heart be ready and would glory fill your soul if your master would come for you today is your life so full of duty that your lord is crowded out do you neglect to study and to pray would your heart be ready and would glory fill your soul if your master would come for you welcome to our viewers at home my name is Karabo Mutle and i am your host for today on my right hand side i've got queen martin Next is Onges Your Dandala and it's uh, Brenda Mube. Can you open for us in a word of prayer? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before thy throne, Lord, asking your presence, Holy Spirit, so that you can guide and teach us and give an understanding, so that we give more understanding to the world out there, what we have taught us. Bless us, Lord, as we start in this study. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Our lesson study for today is called From the Stormy Sea to the Clouds of Heaven. Our memory text comes from the book of Daniel chapter 27, verse, chapter 7, verse 27. I read it in your hearing. Then the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people, the saints of the Most High. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. All dominions shall serve and obey him. Amen. I like the topic from the stormy sea to the clouds of heaven. We know that sea represents people, mm -hmm. meaning that one day from this troublesome world will be lifted up to heaven with our God in the clouds. Amen. It says the kingdom will be given unto us. We can suffer right now. We can things be op opposing us Amen. as Christ was opposed when he was in earth. Even his children will be opposed. Amen. So they will be troubled, but oh. there's a promise for God's children that they will be taken up into heaven, delivered yeah. from the problems of this earth. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Our topic for this week um, parallels the dream of Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter 2. Yes. Well, the great prophecies of Daniel are given in the principle of repetition and enlargement. Mm. So what is happening is that Daniel chapter 7 is repeating the content of Daniel chapter 2. Mm. However, it's expanded and, and enlarged. Mm. So that means the four kingdoms that you get in Daniel chapter 2, yeah. you get them again in Daniel chapter 7. The only difference is it's the different symbology, mm. the different symbols. But now the enlargement aspect is there's a new power that is introduced in Daniel chapter 7, which we will touch on. But now, uh, uh, Mom Queen said something beautiful when she commented on the memory text, and she was talking about the sea. The sea, yes. And we kind of get an imagery of the sea being troubled by the stormy, by the stormy winds. Mm -hmm. And that is an illusion of creation. Mm -hmm. It was dark, mm -hmm. and there was water all over, mm -hmm. and there was the spirit hovering around. Mm -hmm. But this time in Daniel chapter 7, mm -hmm. it looks like a distortion of creation. Mm -hmm. Something has happened. Creation is under attack. Mm -hmm. And that is where we see four creatures that come out of that distorted creation, mm -hmm. which, will, which, which supplants or usurps the authority that God had originally given to man. Mm -hmm. You see, when God created man in Genesis chapter 1, verse uh, 26, he said, let him have dominion. Mm -hmm. Man had dominion over nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now what we see in Daniel chapter 7 is that we see the creation scene distorted. Mm -hmm. And in Daniel chapter 7, there is a power mm -hmm. that has usurped the dominion of God. Mm -hmm. But the good news about Daniel chapter 7 is that the dominion shall be returned mm -hmm. yes. to the people of yes. God. What more about these four animals? In fact, the disturbance, this distortion started direct from the eyes of the Lord. Amen. And the kingdom that was supposed to be for us for life eternal, hmm. we were robbed. Yeah. Hmm. And when we were robbed, now we are coming to these four kingdoms. Now. Amen. The kingdoms that God is so good. He makes us so much aware what is going to happen to it. That's this true. is done for us being Christian, to be aware this yeah. is going to happen. He explains hmm. symbolically yeah. what are these kingdoms, and he explains in the form of animals. We know the lion is the king of all the animals on earth. Mm -hmm. We know that the eagle 
is the king of all the flying ones yes. on top of it. So he shows the power of this kingdom by symbolizing it by the lion. We know the lion is the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar, which is the kingdom of gold. Babylon. Where Babylon of everything was just gold. This was a blessed people that they were having the gold that we honor today, that we have in gold. You are rich. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And this shows that even if you can be rich, that but your richness passes. Yeah. It passed and then it came to another second kingdom, which was a bear. Mm. A bear also it shows all these animals that are mentioned here. Yeah. They've got power. So the power from the lion, powerful power, 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 it goes down. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. Oh, yes. So this power even goes down to a leopard. And that's where this kingdom, it's, it was a single kingdom, the gold, mm. and it divides. When it goes down, it becomes to the two arms of Daniel oh, and yes. the chest, oh, yes. are showing the divinity of king. And further, it divides down to one, but it's to four, where it runs now by generals mm. because of the death of Alexander the Great, who was the swift and the fastest young man who mm. is said he died in the, a young age, and the generals decided to divide this kingdom. But the most kingdom that Daniel is worried about mm. is the kingdom of the last beast, mm. which they, there was no animal that can be compared or this beast can be given to say, this beast is like Amen. this animal. So this beast is just devouring and killing and destroying for all those who does not want to follow his image. Yes. We know this beast is discussed in Revelation 13 from verse 11 I, down there. It discusses what is it going to do in the last days. We are still on that beast which divided into two Rome and pagan Rome. Mm. You know that something that is pagan is against God. Amen. So meaning that these kingdoms, all of them were just against God because they are persecuting saints. They are persecuting people that are faithful unto God, wanting to keep the commandments of God as we know as Christians. Yeah. Even unto today, we need to keep the commandments of God for us to be in the clouds. Mm. For us, our kingdom that was taken from us, to be restored as we know that the kingdom is restored to us because of the death of Jesus Christ who wanted this kingdom to bear you know God likes mm-hmm. all his things to be hundred percent without us his creation was not hundred mm-hmm. percent it's ninety nine percent also he came down to look for the sheep that was lost because the sheep was crying down there Jesus came to die for us so that's how this kingdom are uh, come but the last beast which were in his kingdom even now it's a very terrible one does not care about others. So, Sister Martins, are you saying that each of these hybrid creatures, these four animals, yes. correspond to a section in the vision of Daniel chapter 2? Yes. 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 Amen. Where yes. we see that the head of gold is parallel to the leopard. No, to no. The, to, 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 the to the lion, yeah. to the winged lion, yes. Yes. which is the kingdom of Babylon that yes. ruled from around 605 BC mm. down to 539 BC. Mm. And then are you also saying that the second kingdom, which was that of silver, Mm-hmm. With both arms like this, yes. Yes. well, on Daniel chapter two, correlate to the pair yes. with yes. three ribs in his mouth. Yes. yes. All yes. right. No, that's 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 wonderful. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Can we now come to the fourth kingdom? Yes. Which now has another kingdom coming out of it, the little horn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, before we go there, okay, maybe, well. let, let me draw us back a little bit. Mm-hmm. I I found it of interest that. Um, the beasts that we see coming out of the water mm. are unclean, hybrid, mm. which is a violation of the creation order, mm. Mm. which mm. then draws mm. us back to the Garden of Eden, mm. Mm. where it all went wrong. Mm. Mm. Now, Jesus mm. comes to die because the first Adam messed it up. Mm-hmm. Mm. So Jesus comes to the planet Earth to die so he can redeem mm. that which was lost by the first Adam, mm-hmm. restore it back to God, mm. which is where redemption comes in. Mm. We can proceed mm. with the little word. Before mm. also we go there, this beast that cannot be named by any animal, yes. it showed how is it as it Daniel was worried that was a terrible beast that nothing could mm-hmm. be compared to this beast. Mm-hmm. For it to show itself that this was the, the real beast, it divided the kingdoms up to ten. Dividing this kingdom they had had, but it, there was a little horn. Yes, With eyes can speak uh, words against the most high God. And on this ten kingdom that this beast found, it destroyed the three. 
which were keeping the commandments of God, following mm. whatever the God is, which are the Heruli, the Vandals, and Ostrogoths, mm. showing that this does not care. He just devour everything that's good. It's a terrible piece, even to be terrible, even terrible now, to be terrible again, that we need, like Daniel, to pray to the mm. Most High God to protect us, to utter the kingdom that has been restored back to us. Amen, 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 mm. amen. Um, I think the other aspect that I would want to touch on would be to say um, the little horn mm -hmm. grows amongst mm -hmm. the other horn, mm -hmm. the other horns. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. only that, it uproots mm -hmm. the other three. Mm -hmm. It represents the Roman Emperor. Mm -hmm. And um, if you look at it well, it has the characteristics mm -hmm. of the former empire. Mm -hmm. However, it is blasphemous, yes. mm. unlike the other horns. Yes. Mm. It is mm. the eyes of men, yes. which is not the characteristics of the other horns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and it 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 speaks great words mm -hmm. that were not seen about the other horns. Mm -hmm. Then that tell us that mm. as we continue to progress, we got to, we get to discover mm. just how much this little horn blasphemes the mm -hmm. creator. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Maybe just to contextualize before I give to Brother Tandala, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the little horn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Verse 8 of Daniel chapter 7 mm -hmm. says, I considered the horns and behold, there came up among them another little horn before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up mm -hmm. by the roots. And behold, in the horn were eyes like the eyes of men mm -hmm. and a mouth speaking great things. Mm -hmm. Now it looks like this little horn entity appears from the fourth indescribable creature, animal, mm -hmm. yes. the fourth beast, which is a symbol of pagan Rome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. This, this, this fourth beast grows ten horns, mm -hmm. which are a second phase of its existence, yes, exactly. which, is, which, is, which is divided Rome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from divided Rome, the Bible says, another little horn, while, 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 while the prophet was looking, mm -hmm. appeared among the ten. Mm -hmm. So if we were just to maybe set it up in a chronology, mm -hmm. that we would say we have Babylon, yeah. After Babylon, we've got Medo Persia, yes. then Greece, mm -hmm. then Rome. Mm -hmm. Rome starting from 168 mm -hmm. BC mm -hmm. down to, I think, 476 BC. Yes. And in 476, the Roman Empire fractures into 10 mm -hmm. divisions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And those, it's 476 AD now. Mm -hmm. And from the time of divided Rome, Yes. which is believed to be modern-day Europe, mm -hmm. shall I come a little horn, another horn. Mm -hmm. And maybe we need to ask the question, what a horn is? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe we need to ask. There. I was actually yes, coming sir. there because I wanted us not to just uh, talk about the horn and, and, leave, and, and leave our viewers uh, not understanding what is this horn. Mm -hmm. Because we need to understand what the horn is, what yes, does sir. it re represent, mm -hmm. you yes, understand? Mm -hmm. So as we have already discussed some of the, uh, of the, of the things and the characteristics of this horn that it speak blasphemous things and all that and it conquered other three mm. um kingdoms but we need to identify it yes, what sir. is it what mm. is this horn what is this little horn yes, that uh, comes up among the the the, the, the ten horns yes, you sir. understand and i want us to mm. at least enlighten our viewers on yeah. that one uh, to say okay this little horn is this you understand yeah. so that they know now what is it? And they know what to look for. If we say now that little one still exists today, you understand? So mm. they know how to, 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 to identify to it, identify it yes. so, so that they don't find themselves on the side of the little one that speak blasphemous things against the Most High. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Amen. You Amen. know, as human beings, we've got some way of, if you speak about somebody, there's a way that you'll give like the, the, the soccer mm. players. Mm. Because of the things that they do, they'll be named. Yes. Or, or, on what you according, are doing yes, according exactly. to that. Also in the Bible, we have just learned now that God does not mention any name for a person yes, until yes, we yes. to unpack and study who mm -hmm. is that person, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. By the characteristics that they have. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he gives us the animals. Even with this horn, mm. the horn is a prophetical word, which me, to us is a prophetical word. Mm. But at that time, when the kingdom is there, it's called a horn. Yeah, and uh, I remember there's these houses even now you you pass by in especially in the rural areas mm. you'll see them there are horns on top of the, yeah, the animal especially animal horses, animal horses, animal horses which I think it explains the power of this home it explains the richness of this home that a man is respected by how many cows that you are having mm. right so it's the certain kingdom and there's this kingdom they I think it's the Zulu kingdoms mm -hmm. that all their crawls are surrounded by the horns, horns. Yeah. yes. So in this case, 
their horns are representing this kingdom. Mm. This kingdom, as you mentioned, the year it started at those years. You said it's one one eighty one sixty eight one sixty eight BC, and in this kingdom showing that it, it 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 it's a kingdom. There are things that it has been identified that it did, like killing people, you know, persecuting Christians, and mm. all those things until nineteen ninety eight. It was like it's falling, yeah. but at the same time, it was revived again, and still. It's ruling even unto today. We, oh, oh, okay, okay so perhaps I should hasten to assist our viewers at home by giving them scriptural references of yes. what a kingdom is mm -hmm. and what a horn Holy is. Jesus. When we go to verse 17 of Daniel chapter 7, mm -hmm. it says, These great beasts, mm -hmm. which are four, mm -hmm. are four kings, mm -hmm. which shall arise out of the earth. Mm -hmm. That's the kingdoms. That's mm -hmm. the four beasts. Mm -hmm. They are kingdoms. Mm -hmm. And when you come to verse 24, it says, And the ten horns out of this kingdom which is the fourth kingdom, mm -hmm. are ten kings mm -hmm. that shall arise, mm -hmm. and another shall rise after them. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the beast itself is a kingdom. It's yes. a kingdom. Mm -hmm. But now, the Bible says, the horns that pop out of the head mm -hmm. of the beast, mm -hmm. they are, are kings. kings. Yes. Okay. And, and listen, so in other words, we've got a kingdom, then we've got kings arising from that kingdom. Yes. And now, the Bible says, another. Mm. So there are ten horns arise, and then mm. it says after another. So another. The, min the minute it says after, it means that this little horn, which is a little kingdom, mm. arises after the emergence of the ten horns. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Are we mm. together on that one? Yeah. It says, and then and then shall arise, and another, another shall rise after them, mm -hmm. and he shall be diverse from the first, mm -hmm. and he shall sub sub subdue three kingdoms. Now this kingdom that will arise after the ten kingdoms that arose from the fourth kingdom mm. shall be different mm -hmm. from the ten from the ten horns themselves mm -hmm. yeah. so it begs the question what makes this kingdom because you see we need to look at what a kingdom is mm -hmm. a, a kingdom yeah. is politically orientated it's yes. the state yes. Yes. yes so if now we say if daniel says that this little kingdom that arises during the time of divided rome mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. This little kingdom must be different in nature. Mm -hmm. It should not only be political, but mm -hmm. it must have another element. Mm -hmm. in exactly. It. Yes. exactly. And maybe if uh, Brother Tandala can touch on, on it, telling us about the difference in the nature of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, we are also given a hint um, on that, um, or, or, or on the very same chapter where they say it will speak blasphemous words yes, against the Most High. Yes, yes, we do not hear anything um, about the previous kings that mm -hmm. arose uh, on that kingdom, speaking anything against the, the Most High. Yes. So that's the first thing that we should consider, that this one, it speaks great things, mm -hmm. and it speaks against mm -hmm. the, the Most, Most High. High. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, this one is against God himself, mm -hmm. and it speaks blasphemous things, mm -hmm. you understand? And according mm -hmm. to the scripture, um, um, blasphemous words, it's, 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 it's as speaking as, as if you are God, mm -hmm. basically. It's, it's saying that you are able to do what God can do, mm -hmm. you understand? So we understand from the scriptures that now this one is actually taking the position, is, is, is trying to replace God on earth, mm -hmm. you understand? Amen. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. Okay, as it speaks pompous words against the most high God, what about the Christians? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's saying in this lessons book here too, it's saying as it against God, automatically it will be against the Christians. Yes, mm -hmm. Meaning if somebody is against you, will be against your children. Exactly. Okay. exactly. And they will suffer. But there's this that you can ask yourself as a Christian that it says he will be allowed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm to mm -hmm. control and kill into what the Christian. Mm -hmm. So no. we'll ask ourselves, what is our God saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it right for our God instead of defending us, but will take charge? Mm -hmm. God is so good that sometimes for you to be seen how evil you are, yeah. there must be actions that are proven that you are, you are so yeah. evil. You must be allowed. So at the same time, it's not that God, 538 to 1998, yes. did not like these people that died. They were faithful unto God, keeping all the commandments, but they are killed. Mm. Where is this God? God is so powerful. To, death is not a problem to God. Yeah. Sin is a problem to God. Yeah. If I die on the side of God, I'm not dead. I'm sleeping. Mm. I'm waiting to be risen up. As it said, we are going to be taken up in the skies. 
Mm -hmm. Right? So we need to be strong. We need to do what God tells us because to God, we are not dead. Yes, to human beings, it's a painful thing that is happening as if God is giving a sacrifice of us to this beast. This beast must show itself who is he and we get the characteristics of this beast that he is devouring whatever, mm. not only the Christian, everything, the creation of God and everything. As the devil has said, when he was still in heaven, I will, I will, I will, I will, Amen. right? He Amen. wanted to be like the most high God, right? Mm -hmm. So the most high God, he's just different pompous weight. He oh. sits on the throne and makes himself as God. Yeah. And all these people must listen to him. If they don't, he kills them. Amen. Amen. Okay, I, I, um, oh. let me add something else as well that identifies this, yeah. this little one. It it persecutes the yeah. saints. Yes. The saints. The activities yes. of the little one. Just like she was saying, yes. if it is against God, mm. it persecutes the saints. The children of God, yes. Yes. And we must understand that when it comes to persecution, a lot is at stake. People's mm. faith is tried to the utmost. Mm. That's mm. like a fiery furnace. Mm. Mm. Not only that, it changes God's law. Exactly. Yeah. That means there is a, a God's that, that law is a particular target. Mm. Mm. Um this mm. little one and the beast want the law of God destroyed. Mm. 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 And then it acts as it pleases. Yeah. Mm. So it cannot be controlled. Mm. It looks like it is a God in its own right. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then finally, would then agree that the entity holds both a political and a religious power. Mm. Yes, mm. yes. Then that makes it very powerful, have rare power. Amen. The count Amen. that has not been there before. But like we discussed in our previous lessons, we should remember that then that at any given time, should the state and the church merge, mm. blood is shed. Exactly. Now maybe before we and go to the court being seated, we should give Brother Dandala an opportunity. Mm. Um, I, I think there's one uh, uh, one one characteristic that we we missed. Yes. Um, it, it says here it will intend to change times, and yes. I think that one is very important. Mm -hmm. okay. It will be one of the identi uh, identifying marks mm -hmm. of this beast because if we don't, we miss that one. We won't know. If you go back to history, mm -hmm. you will actually know and understand who intended to change times. You understand, mm -hmm. and then that will actually open the eyes to see. Oh, okay. This kingdom has done this, has done this, and has done this. Yeah. Then you are able to point and say, this is the kingdom that they are talking about. You Amen. understand? Amen. So if we miss one of these things, then we will leave people confused and not knowing um, where to look. Yeah. You understand? Because yeah. there's just this one thing that is missing that we did not point out. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. The changing of times, we mm. need to further explain mm. what do we mean by the changing of, mm. Star mm. of times. Yes. The changing of times, you remember when God created yes. his sunset to sunset. Yes, yes. But today, what is it said? It's, it's a midnight, it's midnight, midnight to yes. midnight. You mm. understand? Even the date change, even mm. at midnight. Mm. But God measures a day by day and night. And, night. Mm. and the laws of God, one law, law of the mm. Sabbath. Mm. God, in, and I read in deep study that the number of the month are not 31, mm. they are 30. Yes. So for us to get the right counting in prophecy, we need to count the month by According, 30 yes, yes. days. Mm. And then it will give us 360 days, not 365 days. That is the changing of the time. Okay, the court was seated. Mm. Okay, when we come to that part, let us realize here that um, there is a, a judgment scenario. Yes, mm. ma'am. The Ancient of Days is seated on his throne. Amen. Ah. Mm. The Son of Man appears mm. as if in a cloud. Yes, mm. And then the other persons mm. who, who make part of the courtroom of mm. God are also there and seated. And judgment should, should take place. Now, when it comes to judgment, we are looking at um, records. Mm. The first book would be the Book of Life. Mm. Those that are entered in the Book of Life. Mm -hmm. The second one, uh, would be uh, the book of remembrance. Mm -hmm. Now God is so good to an extent that he says, you did good once. Yeah. That is recorded. Amen. He is an investigative God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he gives yeah. judgment, it is absolute. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Based yeah. from yeah. the time you are born to the time you sleep or yeah. the time you die. So yeah. while Daniel is 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 looking at this little horn and is considering its its identifying features as well as its mm. activities in history, mm. he says in verse nine, "I beheld till the thrones were cast down, mm. and the ancient of days did sit, mm. whose garment was as white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Mm. His throne mm. was like the fiery flame." And his wheels as burning fire, as a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands of, th- of thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousands times ten thousand stood before him. Mm. And the judgment was set, mm. and the book were opened. Now, here's something that we need to bring into mind. Mm. Mm-hmm. Daniel chapter seven, yeah. and I know this is unconventional, mm. but. Daniel chapter 7, when you look at the book structurally, is about judgment. It's about mm-hmm. judgment, yes, basically. It is about judgment. Mm-hmm. Now, in this judgment scene, we see a new power called the little horn. Exactly. But the message of Daniel chapter 7 is judgment. Mm-hmm. Actually, the name Daniel, Daniel, mm-hmm. in the Hebrew sin, simply means mm-hmm. God is judge or God is my judge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the theme of the book of Daniel collectively is judgment. Mm-hmm. The center of Daniel chapter 7 speaks about judgment. Mm-hmm. But now the judgment is in connection with the little horn power, exactly, which blasphemes the God of heaven. Mm-hmm. Judgment must happen. Mm-hmm. Judgment must happen. And maybe before I give Brother Tandala, I think we should put these things chronologically mm-hmm. because we have the phase of the little horn in history, mm-hmm. which we believe according to history that it was from 538 mm-hmm. uh, AD to 1798. That's mm-hmm. the time, times, and half the time, yes, which yes. is 1260 prophetic days mm-hmm. according to the year day principle that is based on numbers chapter 14 verse 34 mm-hmm. it's 1260 years mm-hmm. that's the period where the medieval church was in control mm-hmm. in europe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and chronologically when we look at daniel chapter mm-hmm. 7 judgment happens after the little horn activity in history mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's where judgment the heavenly judgment happens and then ushered followed by god's kingdom so mm-hmm. it's the little horn it's the time judgment which is the last days mm-hmm. and then it's followed by god's kingdom before mm-hmm. jesus comes with mm-hmm. his kingdom mm-hmm. he must judge that. judgment must be in mm-hmm. order especially with the little horn power mm-hmm. that is opposing god mm-hmm. in heaven just to set the ground just mm-hmm. to set the ground mm-hmm. prophets is good it's good god is good you know all this is done for us to understand Amen. and to know that we are not just left to be destroyed or left in vain without anyone who intercedes for us or who Amen. stands for us and on this judgment who is to be judged can somebody who keeps the law be judged hmm. no. you are keeping the law you are judged against what those who does not keep the law of god will be judged hmm. and be given like on earth, there are judges sitting there. They are not. They, they, they are judged according to what they have done and according to law on what they have done. So according to law, the the, the, the ancient of days, it's sitting and judging. The little horn has filled the cup. Hmm. He is about to fill the cup in full. Yeah. Yes. So after that, the little horn has shown himself who is he, that he has, just, has been just told that end today mm-hmm. for you it ends there. we know the judgment is set for the devil mm-hmm. when jesus died on the cross that was the judgment for the devil mm-hmm. it's finished he will never be found even in the meetings of heaven he is just troubling us on earth but he cannot go to heaven now because he was judged all his actions that the angels could see who lucifer is what is inside what is the spirit of lucifer is it the spirit mm-hmm. of god or is it the spirit of the darkness so his spirit was judged with the people that are following him of not keeping god's commandment no. it said there's this there's this it's it's an instrument that is put with the two balances if we are balancing with the law we won't be judged but if it's like this you will be judged you are wrong so that is what is meaning the judgment that is sitting here everyone appearing in front of God being judged, no one will never be judged. But those that are in the book of life, do you think they're supposed to come back and be judged? Hmm. You are in the book of life, you have life eternal. Hmm. You don't have to judge, you are doing well with the Lord. God is judging those people who are not doing well. Perhaps I should ask and say, how does that judgment benefit God's people? Hmm. Just put it on the side of God's people, how does it benefit us? At the end, that's a powerful and a good one. <laughs> At the end, we'll never cry and pray day and night, giving to this power 
do whatever he does with us mm-hmm. and it just becomes quiet all right god will revenge for us okay god will fight back for us for now god is merciful that everyone will see that god is merciful for being a thief for being a killer for being everything for years in my last day of death i'm Amen. found in heaven Amen. Amen. okay maybe when we are still on judgment um like i was saying in the previous point that god um judges his people in three books the book of life mm-hmm. of human brains and those that are lost mm. to the legal horn Judgment means mm-hmm. condemnation, mm-hmm. Yes. but to the saints, mm-hmm. judgment means uh, 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 victory. victory. Amen. Exactly. Yes, mm-hmm. we are being taken mm-hmm. to heaven. Mm-hmm. Now, let us also consider that um, the judgment of the living starts when when probation closes, when the last plaques start to fall. The judgment of the living begin. However. We are challenged in the scripture that we should not fear judgment Mm -hmm. because the one who sits and judges is our father Mm -hmm. if we have walked in his ways. Mm -hmm. The high priest is our brother, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So we cannot fear judgment. Those who fear the judgment of God are those we have chosen. Mm-hmm. The ranks with the little horn, mm-hmm. and they know that theirs is condemnation. Amen. If you say, Sister Branda, judgment with the living, what about the dead? Are they not judged? Um, the reason why I, I, I particularly chose to talk about the living is because people live in constant fear when they hear that the, the living are judged while they're still alive. We know that investigative judge, judgment does happen with That's the dead. The yes. That's the but one. we have to make it clear. And then people constantly live in fear. Uh, I'm alive, I'm being judged, probation closes on me. Mm-hmm. So here the writer chooses to make it clear mm-hmm. when the close of probation is mm-hmm. and when the judgment starts on the living. Remember when Jesus comes, judgment is over. Mm-hmm. It is done. Mm-hmm. It has been clearly done for both the dead and the and living. Then, yes. 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 Yeah, that is why uh, according to what you have said that we should um, actually do uh, according to, 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 to this way, chron- chronologically. Uh, when you... When, when you spoke about the little horn face, and then we went to the heavenly judgment, yes, sir. and then we go to uh, God's final judgment, mm-hmm. because uh, that heavenly judgment, if we understand it very well, it's it, it, it's it's uh, it's that period while even the living, even if I'm saying that I'm a Christian now, mm-hmm. I am being judged. God is seeing my act, yes. whether I'm fit for heaven yes, or not. Sir. That is why now, exactly, yeah. I'm being investigated yeah, while go. I'm still living. Yes. You understand? And then that is why now, when Christ shall come. Uh, he will come to take his, yeah. his people. Mm-hmm. And the destiny of each and every person who will be living mm-hmm. and the dead mm-hmm. would have been decided Amen. at that time. He's yes. not coming to, 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 to say, to okay, judge. now mm-hmm. I'm judging you now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. No, he, brother, brother Dandala, perhaps maybe while you're still there mm. and you're talking about judgment mm. and the vindication of our characters mm-hmm. in this yes. time mm-hmm. of being mm-hmm. investigated, mm-hmm. Exactly. in the time of this investigative judgment, mm-hmm. maybe we can try and uh, grapple with the fact of where does Christ feature? in this work of investigative judgment that is happening right now. Mm -hmm. Because we were shown the ancient of days, Mm -hmm. we were shown heavenly beings giving glory to him when the books were open Mm -hmm. and the court convened. Mm -hmm. But what about what about the Savior? The one who we know to be the son of man, the historical Messiah, Jesus himself. Mm. Maybe we should read verse 13 and then we'll give the ropes to you. Verse 13 of Daniel chapter 7 says, I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven. And came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. Before I give to Prada Tandala, I have a question, Sister Martin. Yes. Mm. This Jesus who is coming with the clouds of heaven in verse 13, is that talking about the second advent or is it talking about the Messiah bring, bring brought closer to the Father in the work of judgment? That's a question I pose to the floor. Is this the second coming of Jesus, verse 13? Or is, is the Messiah, the Son of Man, bring brought close? to the Most High God, to the Ancient of Days, in the time of investigative judgment. Reread the verse so that it can be clear the question you're asking okay. even to the viewers. All right. Re-read. I read it again. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man, mm-hmm. which Brother Tandala will expatiate on for us, Son of Man, mm-hmm. came with the clouds of heaven, mm-hmm. and came to the Ancient of Days, mm-hmm. and they brought him near before him. Mm-hmm. Which coming is this of clouds? 
Is it the end of the world, the second coming, or is it now the Messiah moving into the work of judgment? Amen. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Can, 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 can I uh, ask you to read the verse that follows after, because that one will actually give us the light of what is happening there. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And there was given him dominion and glory, and a kingdom, and all people, nations, and languages should serve him. Amen. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Brother Tandala. Um, you see, we just spoke about the investigate, uh, investigative uh, judgment. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And we've touched a lot of things that we are being, um, we are being judged while we're still, we are mm -hmm. being investigated. Yes. Yes. Now, if you look at that investigation, you must remember when Christ came to die for us on planet Earth, he ascended to heaven mm -hmm. to finish the work. He mm -hmm. did not finish the work mm -hmm. on the cross. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes. The work was to be continued in yes, heaven, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. where he's standing right uh, at the right hand of the mm -hmm. Father yes. as our advocate. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand? Yes. So we must understand when Christ comes closer to God, he's still doing the work of, of, of salvation. I think okay. I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he still continues with the work of, 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 of salvation, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, bringing us back to God, you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So he did not stop. It did not stop at the cross. Mm -hmm. Atonement. When, exactly. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So as, 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 as he is brought closer mm -hmm. as the son of man, mm -hmm. yeah. he is still finishing up the work that he started on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. brought to the to most the high, to the ancient of days. Yes. Amen. To to the next phase yes. of the work of salvation. Amen. Amen. Exactly. Amen. Exactly. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Perhaps maybe we should also touch on who the Son of Man is, mm -hmm. because maybe we might take it for granted and say, no, uh, our uh, our viewers at home know who the Son of Man is. Mm -hmm. So uh, perhaps maybe we should uh, illuminate our viewers at home exactly. on exactly who is this Son of Man who is brought close to the Ancient of Days mm -hmm. in the time of the end, in the time of judgment. Mm -hmm. Brother Tandala. Um, if we remember very well uh, in the scriptures, uh, we, 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 we realize that in the book of Matthew, Jesus Christ is dead. Depicted, yes. yes. Uh, in fact, it, Jesus Christ is depicted in in, in four forms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in the book of Matthew, in the book of uh, of Mark, Luke, and and um, and the book of John. Yep. And we we are shown there Jesus Christ as the as the servant of men. Mm -hmm. Son of man. The, the son of man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we are shown that Jesus Christ is also the servant. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we are also shown that Jesus Christ is divine mm -hmm. the son of god yeah. you yeah. understand yeah. so understanding from that uh, this son of man that we are talking about here it cannot be anyone else but jesus christ alone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if we go to the book of ezekiel but i want us to go and dwell there mm -hmm. where um actually ezekiel also sees um a, a, a beast there you understand mm -hmm. that uh, has three um Mm. Of, of, of four of, 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 of four faces. Mm. There's a face of 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 of, of an animal, mm. yes. a, a human being, and then and and a and bull, a, a bull. Mm. Yeah. and then an an yes. you understand. Mm. So all the four of them, they actually point us to Jesus Christ as a servant, oh, wow. as a son of man, as a, mm. as as as, 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 a, as a sacrifice. Amen. Mm. You, you understand, mm. and yeah. also the Son of God as mm -hmm. well at the mm. same time. Amen. So if we understand Jesus Christ like that, we will understand who. They are talking about here in, so, the, in Daniel chapter 7, 13. Can we mm -hmm. agree, Brother Tandana, that the Son of Man is talking about the way Jesus refers to himself in the New Testament? Exactly. It's the Messiah. It's mm -hmm. the Messiah. It is God who was incarnate in the flesh, exactly. yes. who had come, exactly. lived the holy life, yes. Yes. died to pay for the yes. sins of humanity mm -hmm. as a substitutionary mm -hmm. sacrifice, mm -hmm. rose on the third day, ascended mm -hmm. to heaven after 40 days. Can we agree that at this time where Jesus, the Son of Man, mm -hmm. moves with clouds to the Ancient of Days, is after his ascension at... Acts chapter 2, exactly. Pentecost. Exactly. He's also referred to the Son of Man because the mere fact that he was incarnate mm. make him relate yeah. Yeah, very yeah. well yeah. to humanity. Yeah. Mm. And secondly, um, Adam is given an opportunity to rule in the Garden of, of mm. Eden Amen. and the other kings during their times, Amen. but is a to, it's, it's, it's a temporal dominion. Mm. But when the Son of Man comes, mm. he comes to restore that which Adam lost and his kingdom is from everlasting to everlasting. Yes, mm. yes. In addition for us. Yes, ma'am. 
in flesh systematics i ma- i it makes us to understand him better yes. because what we are passing through he was man like us mm. born like us yes. mm. so he understands he knows so when we say jesus mm. we are saying to somebody that was once in flesh yeah. who understands what we are passing through who had pain like us mm. ate like us born by men and representing us in heaven hence mm. called the son of man hence called the son of man amen yes. amen now i want us to talk about the holy ones of the most high <laughs> the holy one of the most high who who are first persecuted yeah but at the uh, eschaton at the end times where mm-hmm. the master is revealed with the clouds of heaven mm-hmm. the kingdom shall be given unto i want us maybe to touch on that that now directs the memory text that we read mm. amen mm. now the holy the holy mm. ones are this rare group of people mm. that have known the wrath of the little one mm-hmm. mm. and they have seen the redemption of the lord oh. mm. Uh, they have a testimony yes, ma'am. let me say yes, ma'am. they have known what it's like to go through trouble and yeah. they have yeah. known what it's like to be redeemed to the lord uh, in in exodus 19 verse 6 yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Um, the israelites are called a holy priesthood mm-hmm. a holy nation mm-hmm. so this particular mm-hmm. group mm-hmm. takes the very same order that god had previously set for mm-hmm. the children of israel mm-hmm. of which they did not live up to now when the kingdom is being restored it goes back to them they are called <laughs> a holy nation Amen. a holy priesthood ah. yes. these are the saints that are identified with the most high god yes, ma'am. faithful Amen. followers Amen. Amen. the remnant Amen. Amen. oh Amen. yes oh beautiful oh, oh beautiful oh, oh. perhaps maybe if we can rewind and go to daniel chapter 7 verse 26 mm-hmm. whilst you still there um, sister Mube. but the judgment shall sit judgment yes. Yes. and they shall take away his dominion that's mm-hmm. talking about the little horn mm-hmm. To consume and to destroy it unto the end, while the, the little horn is blaspheming mm. God mm. and is persecuting the saints of the mm. Most High. Mm. The Bible says, "Judgment shall sit, mm. and dominion through judgment mm. will be taken Amen. from the little horn mm. and mm. given to who? To the saints, to to the the saints of God, Amazing. to the saints of God, to the saints of God. <laughs> mm. And then, when you come again to the Bible, verse twenty-seven says, "End." That's a conjunction that's joining verse 26 to 27. It Mm -hmm. says it's a continuation Mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And the dominions and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Everlasting everlasting kingdom. The kingdom will be given to the saints of the Most High who are persecuted. Yes. Mm. But because of perseverance and endurance, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. commitment to the gospel, even if it means that blood must flow from hey. their bodies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the Bible mm-hmm. says God does not forget those mm-hmm. who, who, who suffer under the little yes, horn. Yes. God will give the kingdom Amen. to his people These at the, the end of days. We seek to keep the covenant. Yes, yes. ma'am. That which has been broken so many a The time. everlasting yeah. covenant. These are the people who seek to show the world that it is possible. Amen. To keep the law of God yes. and keep it absolutely. Yeah. And have the yes. testimony yes. of Jesus. Yes. It's, 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 it's <laughs> just live their lives like mm. Daniel. Yes. Yeah. 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 So. It's just words of encouragement to the saints that even if, even those forefathers who passed away, even everyone, even those that are going to get to persecution, mm. but at the end, there's nothing in this end, in this earth that will stand forever yeah. except the kingdom that is coming for the saints to rule eternally. Amen. Amen. Uh, no, I was, I, I was, I was, I was just gonna say that we, we, we need to understand one thing that um, here in the book of Daniel is uh, it, it, it's God now saying to us, regardless of what we will go through mm. under the power yes. of the little horn, mm. He's saying. At the end, there is a reward. Amen. You see, the problem sometimes that we have is that we want to be delivered immediately and we want to be given rewards yeah. immediately. We want the pain to be taken away so that we are free to live yes. um, <clears throat> smoothly. But here, God says, yeah. he will permit the little one to do what? To attack us. Mm-hmm. Yes. And while yeah. that is still happening, mm-hmm. then the kingdom will be taken from him. Yes. F- from from the little one yeah. and then it will be given to the saints yeah. now we 
as human beings, we need to believe and trust the words of God. Mm. If mm. we don't, if we don't believe that the kingdom will be taken from the hand of the enemy Amen. and be given to us, then we will fall a prey in the hands of the devil. That's true. And we will lose our eternal uh, home, yeah. which is heaven. Amen. 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 Okay, let's Amen. also notice that in life application. Yes. Um, God um, allows Daniel to see in a vision mm -hmm. the violence, the persecution, mm -hmm. the increase of these two mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, God makes, it, makes sure that Daniel realizes that he is in control. Mm -hmm. yes. He will yeah. judge. Mm -hmm. And in due time, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Christians will triumph. Mm -hmm. And he shows mm -hmm. the deterioration of kingdoms mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from Nebuchadnezzar uh, going down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then a greater kingdom shall come, come. Yeah. that which cannot be replaced Amen. by the hand of me. Amen. Maybe in, in, in another words, God is saying, relax, mm -hmm. I permitted this. Amen. Amen. Because true. if you remember very well, even when Daniel goes and prays to God, he, he praises God first. He says that he is the one who places and removes kingdoms. Yeah. Yes. You yes. understand? Yeah. When he wanted um, mm -hmm. to understand the vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, for us, we need to understand that it is God who permits all these bad things that had happened, the horn, the little horn and all that, it's him who permitted those things. Mm. But he's saying, at the end, oh, I will God. rule forever. forever. These will never have Amen. power over you, no more. Amen. You understand? Amen. 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 Perhaps let me hasten to say to our viewers at home that all things work together for good Amen. to Amen. those who love the Lord. Amen. Amen. The sufferings of this present time mm. are not worthy to be compared Amen. with the glory that shall be revealed thereof. Amen. Amen. Therefore, we are encouraged to hold on to God. Amen. We are pilgrims in this world. Yes. We are living in tents. Mm. We are going to a better country. Mm. Mm. God has mm. promised us Amen. a new Jerusalem. He has promised us a Canaan land. Mm. But for now, to our viewers at home, are we living like people who are waiting for the everlasting kingdom? Mm. For the Bible says that those who are suffering right now for righteousness sake, the kingdom shall be given to them after this work of judgment. Amen. It is my prayer now that we learn more about Jesus. Next week, the, our lesson is from contamination to purification. Thank you. We ask that brother Dandala close for us in a word of prayer. Mm. Let us pray. Gracious Father in heaven, we thank you for this uh, study lesson. We thank you that you have been with us and we pray that whatever that we've shared with your people, your children out there, that you make them understand each and everything, Lord, that we have been studying here. And may you give them your spirit so that they may study more and understand more. And may you also protect them, protect us and keep us, Lord, from falling and make us, Lord, righteous so that when you shall come, Lord, we may be found righteous, worthy of your kingdom. We ask all this in the powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Is your life so full of duty that your Lord is crowded out? Do you neglect to study and to pray? Would your heart be ready would glory fill your soul if your master would come for you today?